Uh, want to come in and have some dessert? You never did get your Twinkie. Uh, no, thanks. I think I should get going. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, well, all I can say is, Dean, tonight you officially became a Gilmore girl. Feels good, huh? <laughs> yeah. See you later. Meet you inside. I don't even know what to say. It's no big deal. I had no idea. I thought he would... I am so sorry, Dean. It's not your fault. None of those things he said were true. None of them mean anything. I don't know what made him act that way. You I know just... what? Let's, let's just forget it, all right? Please, don't be upset. I'm not. Dean. I'm fine. I'm not upset. I have to go. Call you tomorrow. OK. That man is impossible. Twinkie? He just attacks Dean out of nowhere. And Dean is sitting there being perfectly nice. And then all of a sudden, oh, God, I'm so mad. He's a snob. Yes. And he doesn't listen. He just wants to say horrible things and have you sit there and listen to him and then just agree with him. What is that all about? Ah, that is about 100 years worth of inbreeding. I've never seen him be mean before, ever. Not like that. I don't know how I'll ever talk to him again. And Dean, he must be so upset right now. I, I hate that he did this to him. I hate it. Yes, it was bad. My father was in fine form tonight. But. But. Th there's a but from you? There's a but? Twinkie. I don't think my father has ever loved anything in this world as much as he loves you. Now, that having been established, let's just consider that maybe this flip out tonight actually came from somewhere that possibly has nothing to do with Dean and very possibly has nothing to do with you. What are you talking about? You are the great white hope of the Gilmore clan. You are their angel sent from up above. You are the daughter they didn't have. Mom. No, it's not a, a feel sorry for me thing. It's just the truth. I mean, you're gonna go to college. <laughs> Hell, you're gonna graduate from high school. They're gonna get to watch you walk down the aisle wearing your cap and gown and get your diploma and go to Harvard and be a Phi Beta bimbo and graduate with honors and, and just set the world on fire. I mean, that is the plan. Looks like it's gonna happen. It is going to happen. <laughs> Except for that Phi Beta bimbo part. <laughs> but then tonight you, you walk in with this beautiful boy who, who likes you enough to brave going to your grandparents' house for dinner, and Dad looks at you and sees you with him and all of a sudden has a terrible Lorelei flashback. And he sees it all going away. And the college, the cap and gown. And... But I'm not going to get pregnant. I know that. He should know that. Yes, he should, but... You do have my eyes. You do realize you just spent the last 10 minutes defending your dad. I know. I'm going to have terrible nightmares all night long. But I'll tell you what, if you cut him a little slack, I'll um, wear my porn star t-shirt to dinner next week. Deal. Good. What is Lorelai thinking, letting Rory run around with a boy like that? Well, of course, she isn't thinking. She never thinks. Richard, please, you're giving me a headache. And what were you thinking, inviting him over here? We told her she could invite someone. You were right there. I did not mean him. Please calm down. I will not calm down. Did you hear the way she talked to me? Yes, I heard the way she talked to you. She sounded like her mother. You were attacking her boyfriend. A girl that age shouldn't have a boyfriend. You truly think a 16-year-old girl isn't going to date? Well, of course she's going to date, and she should date. Proper socialization is important to a child, but she should not date one boy, and she should not date him. Don't answer that. I'm going to answer it. Emily, we are in the middle of a discussion. I'm sure you'll remember exactly where you were five minutes from now. 